My name is Dev Shekman. I'm Vice President of the Doctor Patient Forum. Today, I want to talk about destigmatizing language, removing stigma from pe- language for people who use drugs, which includes using person first language, right? Like instead of using the term addict or even worse, junkie, we use the term person who uses drugs. And I'm in complete agreement with that. The same, you know, the harm reduction addiction community, those who are pushing for that destigmatized language, they also always make the claim that if there is somebody who uses drugs and they want to refer to themselves as an addict, then that's okay. Like they would never tell anybody how to label themselves. So I'm going to play two clips for you here. Very genuine question. Purely out of curiosity, how do you feel about people with substance use disorder calling themselves addicts? And this question comes about because I've been talking about changing our language to Instigma lately. And for me, it's really important that people self-identify however they want to identify. I tread really lightly on correcting people who call themselves addicts when they are in recovery or especially when they're in active use. I tread very lightly and I may mention, you know, more positive terminology and I'll use the positive terminology when I refer to them in hopes that they pick it up, but I would never be demanding of someone. And then let's play the next clip. I think just humanizing people as like, you are not your use. You are not clean or dirty. You are not an addict or a junkie. And I think that the self stigma starts with the language that we use and the language that people use towards themselves. Now, anybody's entitled to use whatever the language they want towards themselves. Um, and that's fine. You can do that, but this is for me, language used towards other people. And I can't call myself any of those things because I'm not a person with a substance use disorder. And that doesn't entitle me to then use that language towards anybody else. Um, but I think r- starting with, reframe. So I agree with that, right? I agree with people having the right to call themselves however they want. But the other thing that's happening is these same people in the same community are demanding that pain patients refer to ourselves as people who use drugs and not people who take medications. And I'm going to play a few clips to prove my point. And if that upsets you to believe that you are a person who uses drugs or that opioids, pharmaceutical grade opioids, pharmaceutical manufactured opioids, that those are somehow better or special or different, and that you are special or different because you use pharmaceutical opioids, then I need you to unpack your own internalized stigma against drugs and the people who use them. So there's just one clip of someone demanding that we call our medication drugs in a very angry tone, I might add. I'm gonna play one more clip from this person. Why do you complain about being compared to a patient with an addiction or a substance use disorder? And here's why I ask. Because when I've commented to say that this is only furthering stigma and further disparaging people who have substance use disorders or people who use drugs, um, you say that you're not attacking them. You're not disparaging them and you're not further spreading stigma about them. Well, how do you think that they're treated? Do you think that they're treated better than you, the same, worse? If they're treated better, then I'm unclear as to why it's a problem that you are being compared to a person with a substance use disorder. If you're being treated the same, then I also fail to see why it matters. So my only assumption could be that you are saying that you are treated worse because people assume that you have an addiction. In which case I can also only assume that you are implying that that would be worse for you if you were actually a person with a substance use disorder. And then maybe you wouldn't deserve the treatment that you feel that you deserve that you're seeking as a- Okay, so you went off the rails there. And before I go on with what this topic is, I'm going to say your reasoning is so incredibly faulty. So not only do we have to call ourselves people who use drugs, we're not even allowed to say that we don't have OUD, SUD, or addiction. We are not even allowed to make that distinction even when we are told that that's what we have, which is extremely strange coming from a medical professional, a healthcare professional. We should be allowed to say what we have and not have, having nothing to do with better or worse treatment, but having to do with individualized care and wanting the treatment for my particular 
illness and not for somebody else's illness, right? And the next part is also very faulty because no, absolutely not. Can you assume that because we, we don't want to be diagnosed with OUD, that that means we think we deserve more care than someone with OUD. That is extremely faulty and extremely ridiculous. And it is causing people to attack us for making ourselves feel special and different. So I just wanted to make that point there and to show like, why the hypocrisy? Why the hypocrisy that everyone is allowed to label themselves however they want, except for chronic pain patients who don't have OUD and take opioids? Why is it? You know that it's stigmatizing to use the term drugs. You know that. So I can only assume that what you really want is to spread that stigma so we can feel the way people who use drugs have always felt, which is terrible. Why would you want us to feel the way people who've been treated horribly have felt? Shouldn't you want them to feel the good treatment that you assume we've always had? Why the hypocrisy? My next point here is that not only are you demanding that chronic pain patients refer to ourselves as people who use drugs and not say we don't have OUD even when accused of it, not only are you doing that, but then there's people from the addiction and harm reduction community who are coming to us on social media increasingly now, and I think it's because of what you're doing, and calling us junkies, which means you guys know that it's stigmatizing because y'all have just said it's stigmatizing. So you're purposely stigmatizing us. And then when we say, please stop calling us junkies, then instead of correcting the people doing it, you correct us for simply saying the word junkie. Or if we say there was drug-seeking behavior in our chart, instead of addressing that, you reprimand the chronic pain patient for even saying the term drug seeking. So now not only are we not allowed to refer to ourselves how we, we want, we're not allowed to say, no, we don't have OUD. Now we're not even allowed to tell our stories about what was put in our records. See, the way it seems is that you are stigmatizing us because you want us attacked because somehow you resent the fact that you think pain patients are treated well. My next point, I'm going to play a clip from Chronic Pain Patient Advocate. Her name is Chronic Warrior on social media, and she is a phenomenal advocate. Her content is amazing. If you do not follow her yet, please follow her. I'm going to tag her in this so that you can see who she is and follow her. See here, it says, how can we change the stigmatizing behavior? Well, now they're gonna give you terms. These are the standard stigmatizing terms that we know, addict, user, substance, abuser and junkie, former addict, reformed addict. See here where it says reformed addict, it says persons who previously used drugs. And if we continue, this is the part. If you read this part, every single option that talks about substance use disorder or illicit uh, use, it's always persons who use drugs. Whereas anything that is therapeutic and being taken as prescribed is medication. The terms are not interchangeable and it's clear. It's very, very clear. And the NIH is not the only place that uses the terminology this way. This is why it is absolutely ludicrous that you have this supposed expert in his field out here attacking patients for not wanting to stigmatize themselves further. It's almost as if he's asking us to sacrifice ourselves so that how he calls it, his community can be less stigmatized. It doesn't make any sense. That was an amazing point. And I want to take it another step further. And let's talk about the term M-O-U-D or M-A-T. Now, the same people who are demanding we call ourselves people who use drugs use the term medications for opioid use disorder. That would be Suboxone, Methadone Clinic, Vivitrol, or MAT used to be medicated assisted treatment, but it was changed to medication for addiction treatment because it's really not assisting treatment. It is the treatment. I find it really strange that you still call it medication for opioid use disorder. Why is it you're not demanding that they call it 
D-O-U-D, or D-A-T, drugs for opioid use disorder or drugs for addiction treatment. If you think we all should label ourselves as people who use drugs and that even using the term medication is implying that we think we're better, then why don't you start a campaign to change the terms M-O-U-D to the terms D-O-U-D? Because I can only assume the reason why you demand we call our medication drugs instead of medication, and you are okay with people on Suboxone or Methadone Clinic to call it M-O-U-D, medication. I can only assume that you think somehow people on M-O-U-D are better and different and deserve specialized care and specialized treatment and specialized terms that somehow they're better than everybody else who uses opioids, right? I would like for you to start when you refer to a Suboxone patient saying, here's their medication. I would like for you to start saying, here's your drugs. And I would like for you to go to the ADD community and start demanding that they say they take drugs, not medication. Because it seems like you are just singling us out, demanding, we call it drugs, while you're calling Suboxone, medication for opioid use disorder, which to prove Tanya's point, it seems as though your goal is to further stigmatize us. Because the fact of the matter is the reason they call it medication for opioid use disorder is because they know that the term drug is stigmatized, whether it should or shouldn't be. The fact is, it is, hence the reason why they call it medication for opioid use disorder. So I have an idea for you. Instead of you continuing to push this ridiculous narrative, which, by the way, has encouraged other healthcare professionals to come to us and and attack us at an increasing rate, so you are causing harm, instead of doing that, how about you just start calling all drugs medication? All of it because it's all therapeutic for one reason or another, right? That's what you say, and I agree with you. So instead of trying to make us stigmatized more by using the term drugs, why don't you just try to make people who use drugs stigmatized less by calling their drugs medication? Sounds like a good idea to me. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.